Hi, today I'm going to show you um, the order of the groom, like uh, the order of how I groom a dog and what to do first. Now this is this is a well-groomed dog, so this is done different than a dog that's neglected. So what I do first is I, I don't do any pre-work at all. He's in good shape, pretty good. Even if he has a few knots, that's fine. He goes right in the tub. So we'll shampoo him really well. Give him a good give him a good bath. Okay, once he's all washed and rinsed, use a chamois. Make sure you get a good quality chamois. Use your dog grim and place his salvies. And it really soaks up the water. And it'll save on um, drying time. Come here, buddy. Then you want to get a towel and um, dry the dog all over. Now this this dog doesn't have you know much coat; it's very thin, so he'll dry pretty fast. So you want to use the towel and uh, dry them all over, especially those ears. The ears are really you know, hairy in the tail. Get them as dry as you can with the towel. Then you want to dry them. Dry them with the velocity on low. Okay, so he's mostly dry, so you can dry out the dog. Now, some dogs that don't like, you know, the ears to be dried or the face to be dried, I will brush out that part and just let it kind of air dry while brushing it here and there while I finish up, like, the body and the legs and the feet and everything else. But um, if you can finish drying the whole dog at once, that's fine as well. But since he doesn't like his ears being dried, I will brush them out and um, just let them dry till the end and then I'll take the stand dryer and, and dry his, his face so I can trim it. So usually what I do with the body is, is sometimes you don't even have to you don't even have to brush it out you just clip it. Um, in this case it doesn't have a lot of hair so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna brush his tail because he's got a few knots. Depends on your situation, how you do the order, the order of the groom. If some dogs have a lot of hair and you blow dry them, you don't want to spend hours like brushing them out before you clip them. So you can just, you know, run your clipper uh, or clip-on comb or whatever you're going to be using over their body, and then brush it after, and then reclip, which would be a lot faster. Okay, so I'm just going to brush his tail. Then I'll do all the um, pads on all the feet. Then I will do the groin. Very lightly, I don't go very close to the skin. You don't want to get redness. Then I'll go ahead and do all the nails. I'll clip them, file them on all the feet. Then I'll give his ears a little brush again just to get them to start drying. See his face is almost dry just in that little few minutes that I have to do the nails and, and the pads. And then I will clip his body and legs. I will do all that first.
Then you want to trim all four feet. Then trim under the tail. And then I go right to the tail. This dog just gets a long tail and I just trim the ends uh, blunt. And then what I do is I always, I'm always brushing the ears in between each part of the dog I do. So then what I do then is I check my work on the legs and the body and I just make sure everything's even. So you want to do that all over. Okay, so I've done the body and legs. So I'm going to be doing the head, so I need to uh, dry his ears. So I would do that first. I'll get them all dry. This drives a little bit better than the high velocity. He doesn't like it much. So I'll continue to do that. Okay, so he's all he's all dry. His ears are dry. Face is dry. He's a little fussy with his face. So what I do next is I do use the do the clipper work. So I'm going to use the clipper on the top of his head and his cheeks and under the beard. That'll be the next step. So I will do that all over. Okay, so I did the top of the head and under the cheeks. And um, this little dog, I, I used the, the clip comb on his face as well. So you might want to do that just after you did the other parts. So I will finish that up. Okay, then I'll start with the corners of his eyes. I just do very, very uh, light trim in the corner of the eyes using the corner of your clippers yeah. don't shave down the nose it looks horrible if you shave down there it'll be a big bald spot and it look really bad and you can use um, thin and shears in the corner as well so then what I do next is I work on the eyebrows So I'll do both sides there. Okay, yeah, I've done the eyebrows, the face. Or sorry, I'm gonna work on the face now. So you do the face and then you're gonna use your, your thin and shears to do the face and then the ears will, will come next. Okay, so once you've used your scissors on the face, um, you want to get your thin shears and just go over the sharp, uh, the sharp edges and just to smooth out, you know, the face and look, make it look nice. Okay, now that the face is all done, you want to uh, start with your ears and trim them, you know, accordingly how the owner wants. Or likes so do both sides okay now that everything's pretty much done you got two final steps to go so what I like to do is take the dryer on low and blow them all over and you can see all your stick ups and then um, 
You just trim up your stick ups and the dog will be done. Okay, so the final step would be to look at your dog, see if there's any hair sticking out, uh, go over it one more time, and uh, you'll be done. So that's the order of the groom that I do on a well-maintained dog. Hope this helped you. And thanks for watching. Now I'll probably go back on this hair here and clip up a little bit, you know, with the um, clipper or the linen shear. Now this dog's hair is very thin. It's very wavy. It doesn't come straight, so it's very hard to get it straight. So this is what it will look like at the end, but I could see some spots right here. Have you ever seen any like ladders? Like I could see a few here. Just the, the dog's coat. I don't normally leave ladders on dog's coats. Hang on. Come here, baby. Hang on, let me get to the other side there. So just take your thinning shears and um, you can just blend it in. Thinning shears are like uh, erasers. If you see a little mistake in the coat, you just take your thinners and uh, thin away. Here, baby, thin up. Oh, it doesn't want to stand up. So you can use your thinners, but uh, it looks pretty good overall. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.